State, the state's current domestic violence protection laws could see some changes. And today, our New York Capital correspondent Elise Klein joins us tonight live from Albany to explain how. Elise, what can you tell us? Nick, we're not a good evening. Some lawmakers say the state's current law is failing to protect all New Yorkers by preventing some from getting orders of protection that they need. They have introduced legislation here that aims to improve the state's current law. It's called Melanie's Law. It's named after a young woman who lost her life to a domestic violence abuser. When Cheryl Chinese Cavelli was granted an order of protection from her ex-boyfriend who pleaded guilty to a domestic violence felony, she also applied to get an order of protection for her daughter Melanie and her grandson Miles. Miles was granted the order of protection because he is a minor, but Melanie was denied. She was later killed by her mother's abuser. Today, Chinese Cavelli advocates for legislation to prevent this from happening to other families. Melanie didn't die your normal murder. Melanie died because of who she was. She died because she was my daughter. Lawmakers say there is a loophole in the current law preventing family members over the age of 18 from getting domestic violence protection. The legislation named after Melanie will allow courts to issue orders of protection for family members of domestic violence victims regardless of their age. Melanie would be here today if it had not been for this law not being passed. So I'm urging my colleagues on both sides of the aisle to bring this vote to the floor and to make sure this year is a year that we bring justice to Melanie once and for all and make sure that this never happens again in the state of New York. Chinese Cavelli emphasizes if passed, this legislation would not only help bring justice to her family, but protect other families. Abusers want nothing more than to see their <laughs> abusee suffer a lifetime of pain and suffering. In my case, my offender knew a lifetime of pain and suffering for me would have been to take the most important person in my life away from me, and that was my dog. Lawmakers seem determined on both sides of the aisle here to get this legislation across the finish line, and we will be following its progress as session continues on. Reporting live, Elise Klein, WENY News. Nick, Renata, back to you.